dear viewers welcome to my channel civil engineering classes in this video we are going to learn the circle command here i have opened a new sheet in my autocad software now you can choose the circle command either from this draw panel or shortcut key for circle is c i'll give shortcut key c enter now first i have to specify the center of the circle i'll click it here this is my center now you can click outside wherever you want i'll click here now if i click on this circle you can see here is this is the center of the circle and these four are quadrant points of the circle if you click on this quadrant point and you drag it outside then the circle will become large same way if you click on this quadrant point and drag it inside then it will become small then if you click on this drop down under this circle then you can see here there are different types by which you can draw a circle first is center radius second is center diameter 2.3 point 10 10 radius 10 10 10 first we will see this center radius in center radius first you specify the center of the radius i click it here then you specify the radius of the circle i'll give it 600 enter now this is my circle with radius of 600 mm i'll check the radius here as you can see here the radius is 600 now the second is center diameter with center diameter first you specify the center then you provide the diameter of the circle i'll give you a thousand enter check the diameter see here it's thousand Whenever you choose the specific method of drawing a circle, it will be shown here. So again, if I want to draw a circle with diameter, then I don't have to click on this drop down and select from here. I can directly give the command, the enter and I can specify this diameter. Suppose I am giving 700. Then I'll get this circle with diameter. Then next is two point circle. Two point circle. And if you want to draw a circle that will touch the end points of these two lines, then you choose this two point circle. Click on this point, click on this point, and your circle will be fit in this between these two lines. Similarly, if two lines are like this, then you choose the circle, two point circle, click on this point, click on this point, click enter. Now next is three point circle. Suppose there is a triangle here. And you want to draw a circle that will touch these three corners of the triangle, then you choose this three point, click on this point, click on this point, click on this point, and this circle will fit around this triangle. Similarly, if there are three lines like this. And you want a circle that will touch these three points, then choose this three point circle. Click on this point, this point, and this point. This is how the three point circles are. Next is 10 10 radius. 
1010 radius is used. Suppose if you want to draw a circle that will touch these two circles, then you'll have to choose 1010 radius. I'll take this. Now look at the tangent of the circle. Now if you can't locate this tangent of the circles, then click on this object snap. Click on tangent. Now here it is already active. If it is if it is not active, then just activate by clicking on this, and you'll be able to see the tangent of the circle. Now click on this tangent. Click on this tangent, and give a radius, and your circle will be done. Similarly, if you want to draw a circle. Touching these two lines, then you choose this tangent tangent circle. Click on this tangent of this line. Click on this tangent of this line, and give a radius. And your circle will be done. Similarly, if there is a line here, and you want to draw a circle that will touch this circle and this line, then you click on this tangent tangent radius. Click on the tangent of this circle, then the tangent of this line, and give a radius. Your circle is done. Now next is tangent, tangent, tangent. Tangent, tangent, tangent is used if you want to draw a circle between these two circles. Like, we we'll click on this tangent, this tangent, and this tangent. Your circle will be in between these three tangents. Similarly, if you want to draw a circle within this triangle, then click on tangent, tangent, tangent. Click on this tangent, this tangent, and this. Your circle will be inside this triangle. Also, if you want to draw a circle touching to this circle, this circle, and this line. Then click on this tangent, tangent, tangent. Click on this tangent, this tangent, and the tangent of this line. Hope you all have understood how to work with the circle command. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel to know more about AutoCAD. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.